With much fanfare, schools across most of Colombia opened their doors on Monday, receiving all of their students for the first time since the start of the pandemic. For friends and classmates, long separated, a day to rejoice. The truth is, you don't learn much at home. It's not the same as being in class with teachers that can answer your doubts. And I miss being with my friends, having somebody to share a joke, an activity. Schools in Latin America have been closed for an average of 231 days, longer than any other part of the world. And many lower-income students have been particularly affected by the lack of internet connection or computers at home. For working parents like single mom of two, Karen Cordero, the reopening couldn't have come sooner. I couldn't be happier. I work and had to stop to take care of the kids. My daughter lost a year because we only have a cell phone at home. My son was in fifth grade and my daughter in first with classes at the same time. So I had to sacrifice the younger one. It's been hard. The reopening is happening despite the countries experiencing another major surge of COVID cases. Some cities postponed reopening schools for a week as they pushed to increase the number of vaccinated students. But in the capital Bogota, the reopening went on as planned. At least 64% of public school students have received at least one dose of the vaccine. Today is much more than simply returning to face-to-face -to -face schooling. It's the beginning of a new form of life and education. We all need to learn. It's the beauty of education. Both climate change and the pandemic force us to live and learn in new ways. But many professors and unions remain wary of the decision, saying little has been done to deal with overcrowded classrooms, lack of infirmaries, and promised hygiene kits in many public schools. It's evident that all the biosecurity talk has little support in reality. If you look at the overcrowding, all the students in a small space, it's dangerous for them and for us. So on one hand, we're satisfied that they're back, but we continue to worry for the epidemiological situation. The government says it will closely monitor the impact of the reopening on infection data, but that schools will not close again for the joy of friends and colleagues finally reunited. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá.